Synopsis. In Miami, a formerly renowned artist and composer named Augustine is on trial for the murder of his best friend Mario. Every newspaper in the country wants an interview with him, but the reclusive man arbitrarily chooses a newbie, Eddie, to interview him. Augustine recounts the story of his life in a Cuban town run by gangs and violence in the face of neglect by the nation's government. Despite this, he is still haunted by the disappearance of his first love, Marisa, and the horrible hitman jobs that he had to take to survive in the cruel environment. This excerpt begins as Augustine begins the last part of his story, including his final job and his escape to the United States. Interior, a room above a cafe in Miami, night. Is that your twist? Your big reveal, violence and violence and violence? the love of your life. How could I have known? The day after I found Marisa staring back at me, I tried to kill myself, but I stopped. I knew that I loved my art and my music, but I mostly knew that I had to keep going. If the lie had been that she'd escaped on one of those rafts, the balsas, then I'd do the same. So I called some buddies up and arranged it. I won't go into detail because I really can't, just know that I made it. You're not on trial for killing Marisa, though. This country's justice system may kill you because it's accusing you of killing Mario. You know that, right? Mario Gomez, your friend? I'm old, but I'm not senile. Don't patronize me. Did you do it? <laughs> Excuse me? Did you kill Mario Gomez? I suppose, in a way, I did. He made it here too, obviously, but old Mario had to come over in a cleaner way. He, he got a visa to come play his violin, and he stayed, got his papers. We actually kept in touch for a while after that. He lives about four miles down that street, or lived, I guess. All I did was return an old gun I had that night, and I also told him about Marisa. I'd hid it from him all this time, and the old man did it to himself with my gun, of course. You know that I have my doubts. I'm not even sure that I believe you. Why not? The story has way too many holes. Yeah, but that's how it goes at the end of the day. Life is gonna throw things at you and they won't make sense and the story will have holes, as you say, but that's just how it is. Take it or leave it, I don't care. Did you... Did you usually kill people like that? The mask over the head and whatnot? <laughs> it was tradition. All the kills were like that, and it was me or one of nine other guys that did it. But Alejandra's gang ran a tight ship. That's just the way it worked. You know, when my mom died, I was six. I told you that, remember? She actually died on the island, though, Cuba. I think I left that part out. She was visiting family in Cuevas, a town over from San Lucas. You know. And that's how they found her, in an abandoned field in San Lucas, with her brains blown out in a little cloth mask. <laughs> Jesus, you know, should I even believe you? My God. That's your investment here, that's, that's so cheap. Just know that only two people killed in that field. It was Augustine and it was Mario, and it was just us two. Augustine turns to the wardrobe and pulls out a shotgun. The metal area around the muzzle is etched with Augustine's name and drawings of little skulls. He places the firearm on the table, well within Eddie's reach. Out of the hundreds of journalists clamoring to get an interview with me, I chose you. You know that, right? You of all people. Can, can you believe that? Because hell, I barely can and I'm not you. you. You stupid little boy. I'm not little. But you are. You really are. And, and you've come to investigate and now you've got what you wanted. Are you happy? He slides the shotgun closer to Eddie's side of the table. I am giving you this option. Take the gun and kill me now. I don't know if I killed your mom or if Mario did. And maybe it was neither of us because at the end of the day, why should you tell the truth? Why should you? Why should you? Why should you? No one will ever know. Are you going to take the risk? I'll get no justice. So here's your chance. Here's your shot. Do it. End me. I'm a monster and, and you said it yourself and I've already killed myself. 
in a way. You want some advice, you want to learn something from me, do it. It's what I would do if I were ever in your situation. Do it, you'd be getting rid of some other old idiot. Shoot. Eddie quickly picks up the shotgun and begins to aim it at Augustine. <laughs> so you know how to use it, right? Even better. Ensure it and do it. Time goes by. You and I are nothing alike. Drop the gun, get out, leave this place. Do what you want with what you know. 